Hello everybody, welcome to Satisfactory Update 6. This is Maker Gaming with episode 37. And yeah, last episode we we unlocked fuel of uh, the fuel generators and then realized how much heavy modular frames we were going to need. And then I just arbitrarily picked this spot on top of the river uh, to make a heavy modular frame factory. So we got started on the build. We tried to make it look like this. Uh, we've gotten pretty close. Uh, we're done, I think, all we're going to do with the border. I just want to... Uh, I, I just still need to copy this to the top ones. So I'm going to finish that up, and we'll, I think we'll call it done. And then we'll figure out how to start making the machines we need to actually power it. And then at some point, I think we'll also put lights, at the very least, underneath it to kind of give it a glowing look from underneath, from far. But yeah, to start, we'll go up this really safe ladder. Alright, now just spend the next few minutes and uh, finish these off. We need to make that hyper tube match uh, the rest of that. Cool, you can see the coal plant. I always forget. Alright, we got the frame up now. Uh, do a bunch of metal beams. Let's show that. It takes a little bit. Alright, this is our last little bit. I think we'll call it done for the moment. Well, not quite. I gotta finish these two last rails. Then it's done. Might have said this before, but final couple pieces to finish off the heavy modular frame model. All right, that's it. We did it. Alright, give me a minute and we'll start setting up the next thing. Looks good up here. Wow. All that colors from the reflection of this glass maybe it's interesting all 
All right, so what do we know? We know that the manufacturer is going to need conveyor lifts. And we know we're going to want to block most of that from view. Oh, it's not going to fit. We'll see, maybe. Okay, good. They fit. tall is it? Call it four tall. We've got 12 height, four, so four and four. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to put it dead center. Too good. I've decided this, this is going to be a lot of glass in here. More than it's already in here. Right, so the idea is we go four up. We have that that's four. And then there's four above it that's open. So that kind of puts it in the center. Can we make another one? Nope. All right, just doing the same setup, but up here. We should start on steel first when we do start um, upgrading because uh, we've been going through steel beams pretty good now. So we're just adding this all the way up to the wall or the ceiling.
Yep, I like that. So let's just finish it off. Finish off the look. Get it above it as well. So now we know where our power is going to go. Now we're just running power to see about this light. Oh, hey, this is our first view of the completed cube. And I like that. I like how it's centered now. wonder about let me see wonder if we could get something right here in the edge interesting Let's see where those connect You know, I can live with that. We're going to light this thing up, I have decided. I'm going to mark this so I can tr get the right level. All right, so looking through the edit, um, I just I spent too much time on this glass, so I think I should just summarize it. Um, I came back and I added a, another square at a 45 degree angle uh, using a barrier off of this point on each of the four corners of that middle three by three and took them out as far as they go. They cross over at about this mark. Uh, I just want to get a lot of glass in here and a lot of different lights and see what uh, what kind of effects that gets us, especially at night. Uh, so I did a lot of that. I did a lot. I hung one ceiling light there. I hung four on each side. There will be more later as well. And then I ran power to each of them. So yeah, 
summarize because I realize how much we have to get through. Um, and we need to get started. Uh, I was looking at areas where we could go uh, to set up our iron factory for this. But also in doing that, setting up a real crossroads uh, bridge across this uh, body of water because this was always temporary. Uh, this weird half-angled thing. I think I'm looking at back there between those arches. And then I was also thinking about maybe running them like this, right on the water. But let's go find a place where we can build. Earlier I was looking at everything from right here, forgetting there's an alpha right there. Oh, and also, we're going to need to upgrade the steel. We might want to do that. Um, we might want to do that just because it's quicker. More rewarding. Let me look at my notes here. I looked at the machines. If we have a pure iron, let's see if we have iron. Pure iron ingots. Okay, so we have pure. Uh, we might we're might gonna go this route uh, with pure iron ingot recipe. Did the math, and we need 317.5 iron ingots a minute to get all the materials, all the iron materials we need for the manufacturer uh, for the heavy modular frames. It takes two pumps, five refineries, 20 constructors, and three assemblers. So, yeah, I need to come up with a space to do that. And I'm kind of thinking I want to actually try and make it look a little bit like a factory floor type um, well, we'll get into it more as we, as we build it. I feel like I've fought a large spider in here many times. And he always sneaks up on me, so I'm going to find him first. Alright, no spider. There he is. He's not so big. Let's see these new attack moves, spider. You know, I have grenades of all sorts. What am I doing? Winning, that's what. I need to find a good place. I mean, I guess fairly close. Or maybe overlooking the actual heavy modular frame area. Let's see how high we'd need to go to cover up all this. No, not here. That works well with the reflection. With the mirrored surface, makes it look uh, empty. That's cool. Unexpected. We're just here for your iron. There we go. That's it. All 
All right, here's our one iron. Yeah, maybe we could do it on that ridge. Maybe we could do it on this ridge overlooking that area. I wonder, does that give us enough room? Oh, wow, that's not white at all. Alright, so off the top of my head, our iron's up there, uh, it's a pure miner, I don't think we're even going to need the maximum of what it could produce on a Mark II miner, overclocked, um, so we'll either take it to the level it needs, or we'll actually cart some of it past, uh, take it to wherever, uh, steel mine probably, or the steel foundry, but yeah, iron through the top. Um, I think all the constructors, we might do constructors down this path, maybe two floors of them, which means over here we need the refineries. What's that sound? Oh, and then we're also going to need the assemblers. Match the foundations over there, which is three, three meters tall. We might have to ramp up somewhere, though. There's the noise. What are those, like medium? Thank you. Man, I am a destroyer. Is this the bait? Quick review of some stuff I skipped over. Um, added a foundation there. Added some pillar supports there. Just uh, four meter foundations. Uh, that's where we're going to put as many constructors as we can fit. Then I think I've decided over here I want my assemblers. Uh, front three right here. With the middle one just dead center. Uh, with the heavy modular frame factory. And then we'll run uh, all three of them down that way. Doesn't leave us much room next to the concrete, but we'll figure that out. Or the limestone. So yeah, that means if we're leaving this area right here for the assemblers, we still have to find a spot for the five refineries. And we might as well do it over here because we've gotten uh, even closer to the water. So we don't need any of this. All right, so we're going to give these plenty of room. And they're making bolted frames, so five a minute from each of them.
going to give him just enough room to walk between. So we'll center between. And we'll center on. Gives us one, two, three, four. We need five. Is five going to fit? All right, now we have to see what we can fit here. Let's get this back in our main line. We're gonna need mergers on this side. We'll just say here, give us a line. Lining all these up. This is our first ten. Which would actually give us, let's see, if we did cast screws. At ten, that'd be 500. And what is our biggest belt? 480. Okay, so we can't actually do 10 together. If that's the case, we might do something like, say, this. Then we do the first seven as screws and then the last three as iron plates and we'll belt those together and then belt those together right above them and then we'll probably have two layers two floors same thing and yes we definitely have room for the splitters to fit and room behind here to walk and whatnot I actually was gonna put a wall up but maybe we'll just leave this as our back wall Okay, quick summary. We've got our first 10 machines there. It'll probably be split into seven making screws, three making iron plates. So we'll do two levels of that. So we have the room for them there. We'll track them down here, probably underneath this floor, up into there. Uh, we'll make reinforced iron plates there with the screws on the plates. Uh, and those will go into there. We'll also have screws going into those two. And those will be making bolted frames. And we'll be sending the bolted frames and screws on from here over over to the uh, heavy modular frame factory. Over there, That's uh, we need one more refinery. We're just out of motors. Uh, we just need to go to the barn over there. But yeah, we get those hooked up, get some water going to them, then we'll get our pure ingot recipes. So we'll be getting 65 iron ingots for every 35 iron ore instead of the regular 30 for 30. So yeah, at least we have the layout going. I like how when you're at the uh, farther draw distance, it covers it up and we're getting that mirror effect. I'm going to like that a lot. Now we're getting the different sunsets. How the lights look in there. If we're getting any cool effects off the 45 degree angle uh, box. Also get some lights up here. I'm sure we'll be up here at some point at night. All right, one more.
All right, we're lit up for nighttime if we need to be over here. All right, we need our little, little. All right, we need 10 of these. We're just making that. And then we can make a Mark II miner here. All right, that's our Mark II miner. Uh, at normal speed, we're getting 240 out of it. So what, well, we could get over 480 if we wanted. 480 would be double. All right, now that's lined up. Okay, we haven't used these windows before. Mix it up a little bit. Alright, so we just had all this iron plates, so it's 420 is 80, and we set this fifth one to 10. So it'll only be taking 15 in to produce 10. And these last five are all our iron. Alright, so we have those two lined up for there. This into there. This should get us our iron plates. Now mark two. all of it up. Alright, I gotta go pick up materials. Ran out of iron plates, ironically. Alright, so it's good to know we have a source of modular frames over here now. And we got a bunch of materials, so we return. All right, we're back with a full inventory of stuff.
Trying to keep this one organized. All right, we're actually going to move this one out of the line. Since the other three lines will all be screws, we'll want more options for those. So for that, we'll just go straight out. Wherever that means. Maybe we can make our fifth one now. Surprised it let us clip that through, but it is what it is. Where's iron? Alright, so we only need a hundred water. That's only one pump, right? 120, I believe. One pump would be great. Alright, now we're just looking into setting up the water. Alright, so we're still just working on the water path, but it is getting darker, so take a look next door. Maybe we should actually end the episode soon. We've done uh, quite a few different things. Just holding control and it's snapping. Just 
figure out the best connection we want. Maybe horizontal. Hooked up. We've got it piped. We've got power run to it. And we have our cube at night. I like it. It's starting to look sinister. Or like contact. You know, I think with this officially done, I think I think we should end it here. Uh, we made some progress today. We did a. Uh, Finish the glass. Sorry, that was an auto save. Uh, yeah, we finished the box. We finished where the manufacturer is going. We finished uh, the actual structure itself. Kind of made a plan for getting the materials over there. We started our iron factory. We have all the assemblers and refineries we need. We have um, most of the constructors we need. We still need to build eight more up top. And we have our Mark II Miner Belt, so our, Mi our Mark II Miner Belt for the iron. So uh, we're on our way. We'll get there. Um, we'll do that, and then we'll move over to steel. And then we'll be making two of these things a minute. So, yeah. Thanks for watching along, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. That's a good ending. <laughs>